Alright, about to leave for work, but a couple people have asked this, so I've been slacking on doing it. I figured I'll do it right now. For both style orbiters, either the purchased one from like Triangle uh, Labs or whatever, um, Print Solid, AliExpress, all them, or the printed design that uh, I made that's modified of uh, Jake Allen's version and, and Tom Jones. Um, the, uh, and then me and Jake are probably collabing together and trying to come up with a new cam lock setup. But either way, it's the same concept. For TPU, you want it to be as pretty much as loose as possible. But for all other filaments, I literally load through my Bowden tube from my dry box. So I'll push it all the way through that PTFE, and it'll grab. Basically what I do is heat up the hot end, unload the filament, the filament's unloaded, so what you do is loosen this, you have a little bit of play back and forth, start tightening it, still a little play. You'll feel it kind of because it, it, it's you don't want any real spring pressure at this point, any spring pressure at this point. So you'll feel like right there is it just caught. So go like maybe another half turn just for good measure, and you'll know right away when it's done right because you should be very easy to load it. Like literally just rest it in there, press load filament, and it sucks right in. There shouldn't be any forcing it or whatever, and then now when you load filament, you shouldn't have to loosen it and play with it. You should never have to touch that. Even with TPU, like I said, I, I really don't mess with it, but sometimes I'll go a little looser. As weird as it sounds, if I'm trying to print really fast the TPU, I'll actually go a little bit looser because what happens is TPU, the teeth will start biting into it and they can deform it. But if you do the genuine Bontic gear upgrade, they have a much better semicircle uh, round to them that doesn't um that doesn't dig in nearly as bad. I can show an example right here. See, this is not Bontex. These are clones. The real Bontex. This is much narrower, and it actually is more the shape of 1.75 millimeter filament. I don't know if they made these so it could work for 2.85 and 1.75, and that's why the clones are like this, but supposedly the new LDO um, 1.5s are coming with now the 1 amp 20 millimeter motor, and uh, the was a 17 millimeter 1 amp motor. Then they came out with a 20 millimeter 500 milliamp motor. So this is the original motor. This is the 20 millimeter, 500 millimeter motor, which still generates more torque because motors only generate their torque at maximum amperage. I mean, the one amp, 20 millimeter motor. I don't know if it's going to be better. I almost think the 500 milliamp motor might be better because we're going to be running it at our maximum current. You only have so much mass to sink that much current into. So unless I'm wrong and we can actually run that motor at 800 milliamps or close, you know, 80% or higher of its uh, current rating, better off trying to stick with the 20 20 millimeter 500. Or once again, I just run the 17 millimeter original ones. And I had no problem, you know, like I said, I mean, 46 millimeters uh, cubic uh, a second with, uh, with TPU is pretty high pushing force, you know. So, I definitely don't see the need to go that crazy.